It's Big First Night Modern at Magic Con of Vienna time again. My name is Michael and I'm here with Walter. Thanks for joining us! While on the left side we have Felix playing Affinity. One interesting thing about his list is that he's playing a split of two Kimmeroid and two Spire of Industry. Most of the people today play three or four Spire of Industry because the damage doesn't really matter that much. And then we have another cool thing which is Edge Champion. Edge Champion, if it has Metal Craft, uh, has protection from all colors, which is nice against his opponent. And another cool card here, uh, which compass really great with Edge Champion, is Cranal Plating. It's an equipment and costs two generic mana. Uh, the equipped creature gets plus X plus zero, where X uh, is the amount of artifacts in play. So, Walter. What yeah, sure, and those cards are pretty important here because on the right hand side we've got Stefan Wolf. And he's on Chess Guy. He's on a very interesting build of Chess Guy that features four spell credits, zero copies of Geist of St. Draft, and a little package, a little late game package, mostly com comprised of Planeswalkers. He's got two Gideon of the Trials, the three mana Gideon from Amonkhet, two Chandra Torch of Defiance, and he also got one copy of Karanos, God of Storms, as his top end here. And in terms of removal, He's got Lightning Bolts and Path to Exiles. He does not have any Lightning Helixes. But I think his build is still very well positioned here because Spell Quailer can not only count as spells, but as a 2-3 flying body, it's also a very good blocker in the Affinity matchup. Yes, of course. Blocking Ornithopters when Signal Pest is in play or Signal Past or just jumping uh, creature, flying creatures equipped with Cranel Plating is kind of good in this matchup if you don't have to remove all Definitely, times. it's nice to be able to at least trade for yes. a creature here. And let's see what our... Yeah, Stefan is mulliganing here while Felix is still deciding. Yes, I think Felix is... Ah, uh, is he going to mulligan? Just looks like it. No, he's thinking, he's thinking. Shuffling his hand, banning his hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's taking. He's probably, he's, it looks like he's keeping here, and we see if Stefan can find a six-card hand that he's more happy with here. Yeah, I think he's in need of a six-card six hand, because Affinity is really fast. Yeah, you can't but, keep yes. hands. I think Felix mostly plays Affinity, so if Stefan knows that Felix plays Affinity, there, the hands he can keep are narrowed down quite yes. a bit. So we saw a scry to the top, and uh, turn one Ink of Nexus into Springleaf Drum, which yeah. will generate... Uh, Mana of, uh, mana of a color of your choice if you tap a creature with it. This is not a very fast start from Affinity, nope. so Stefan is happy and it just plays. Which expedition is this, Michi? Oh, this is a Steam Vance. No, this is Hello Fountain. Yes. And it's tapped. So, yeah, mm. like we said the last time, they only read if they have fire in the artwork. There's no fire yet, it's just a weird thing. That yeah, I'm good at punting. So, we do see a uh, Wall Scourge here, which is a 1 1 creature with life link and costs 1 generic and 1 black Phyrexian mana. Which got used here? 2 life plates. Yes, 2 life plates. So, what is he going to play next? Because he still has 2 mana with the Spring of Trauma available. Maybe it's going to Yeah, oh, it's a great the plating is very, really nice. very nice. It's way better than most of the other 2 drops here. For example, a Steel Overseer could just get killed. And yes, I do think it's one of the best cards in Affinity. Definitely, yes. definitely. Uh, so is Stefan playing Electrolyze? I didn't hear it clearly. Stefan is not playing any Electrolyze, oh. nor is he playing any um, any Lightning Helixes. He's playing Supreme okay. Verdicts, Lightning Bolts and Path mm -hmm. to Exile. So this start is pretty good from uh, Felix's side. Yeah, basically what Stefan can do here is, if he's going to be attacked by a big Vault Scourge, he can bolt it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he does not have any answers to Cranial Plating. So he basically has to answer any creature equipped with Cranial Plating, or he has to take a lot of damage on each swing yes. here. Yes, and we do see a Steel Overseer now in turn 2 here, uh, turn 3 here. And, and a uh, Ravager. I wow. think you want to respond to the Ravager here. Yes. Let's see. It looks like Path to Exile. Might be. Uh, has to be. Or uh, Opt, maybe. Is he playing Opt? He is playing four copies of Opt as the country yes. of choice here. No Serum Visions, just four Opts. But we do see a buff to Exile here. Did you catch what the target was? I would target the Steel Overseer here simply because it is more important. But I think he let mm. the... Did he let the Ravager resolve first? Uh, he had to. Why? He can just pass something, something in response to the Ravager, meaning that you... Felix would not be able to sacrifice the creature in yes. return, in response, and get an additional counter and the Ravager here. But he is actually mm -hmm. passing the Ravager itself. Yes, he's passing the Ravager itself, and the counter goes on the Vault Scourge. I like that play when 
your opponent is out of mana, I like just being able to path the Ravager here and get mm -hmm. it out of the way. You need to have an additional answer to the Steeler Overseer to make that yes. play, but I'm pretty sure Stefan will have access to that. Even just a Snapcaster Mage, an additional land would mean that in, on his turn, he could go Snapcaster Flashback that path and get rid of the Steeler Overseer. He would take some damage, but he's still yes. at 18. But it would also give uh, Stefan his one of Mountain in his library. Felix, Felix, Felix. Uh, Felix, I'm yeah. sorry. Stefan also has a... He's actually not playing... Oh, he's playing a one of Mountain in his list. Mm -hmm. So both players have the same basic land. And he got the Steam Lens tapped here, and now we see what he which answer to the Steel Overseer he can come up with. Maybe he's just ignoring the Steel Overseer and going for a Verdict on turn 4. Supreme Verdict. This is possible, but you got three Nexa here, which and will get pumped by that Steel Overseer. They can just all activate yes. themselves and get pumped here, which makes the Supreme Verdict play a bit less appealing. But this looks like Stefan has access to a Spell Queller here. Mm -hmm. Which is okay, but not the best, because nope. the board is already threatening. Yes. It will only trade with a Vault Scourge. But we do see another buff to Exile here. Ignoring the steel overseer, yes. very, very Ignoring interesting, very, very interesting. I have not had a lot of success ever ignoring any steel overseers. Basically, whenever I did not kill steel overseers on sight, I mostly got trounced by a, pump, a bunch of creatures that just got pumped up. Yeah, well, me too. My favorite modern deck currently is the good old Merfolk. So whenever I have a gacha available for a steel overseer, I instantly use it. Yeah, Gatcha is definitely an underrated sideboard card at this point, especially in decks that don't have access to a lot of other removal spells. We see Field of Ruin and another passing of the turn. No second white mana yet for that Supreme Verdict that might mm -hmm. be in Stefan's hand. And here we see end of turn. He's yes. going to activate two Nexi, activate yes. one Nexus, and then probably use the, the Springleaf Drum to activate. Right. Oh no, it's just, yeah. Okay, and now we see a bolt on the Steel Overseer, interestingly. In response, of course, all of his creatures are getting a plus one plus one counter because of the effect of the seal over seal. Sure, but right now, actually, Stefan navigated that well. I think Felix could have done it better. He could have milked that steel over seal more because all that steel over seal mm -hmm. did, Stefan gave it a lot of time, but it, the yeah. output was just one counter. One counter is not. I enough. think Felix played this a bit too greedily here. I think mm -hmm. with the steel over seal, I would have liked to just past the turn and not go for the cranial plating equipment, not use that much mana on my turn so that I could Might get been, yes. three counters, like a counter on each of my mm -hmm. uh, on each of my creature lands. So Stefan has spell quell on Monoro. And if Felix is going to attack. Okay. Ooh, this is okay. this is this is Spell Queller can just eat the one one yes. here and get a minus one minus one no, counter. But, but we just see a field of ruin instead on the bigger on the bigger Ink Moth, and um, he's going to fetch out an island, interesting, so he, might, he probably already has access mm -hmm. to that white source at his hand, and he's just slow rolling it, because otherwise he could have just got one of the two basic planes in his deck. Yes. Felix doesn't have anything to look for, he ju he's just shuffling his library. Yeah, the single mountain yes. is the only basic land in Felix's list. Affinity mostly just plays one, sometimes mm -hmm. a mountain, sometimes an island. Rarely lists play both, but that's a yes. meta game choice. So we see you go from Stefan's side here, Felix turn, he's drawing. So Stefan does not have another land and he nope. did still fetch for that blue mana, so we yeah. see. So he probably does not have Supreme Verdict in his hand at this point. Looks like it at least. Yeah. So this is Ink Moth Nexus. Blink Moth. Blink Moth Nexus, I'm sorry. This is Ink Moth. It's getting activated. Yeah, and, and equipped. equipped. Yes. Felix is going to attack. Yes. How big is it? One, two, three, four, five. A 6-1. Or? Uh, at this point, a 5-1, but you could use that mountain to activate your Ink Moth, turn it into an not. artifact okay. as well, yes. and then you get that additional point of power. Which is a reasonable thing to do if Felix doesn't have another play, because mm -hmm. even if even if Stefan has removal, you know, um, yes, you're just not wasting mana then. So just that you know, Felix has a Galvanic Blast in hand, so if Stefan tries to block with Spell Queller, he might be... Yeah, okay. but this is nice. We see a bounce on the plating and yes. the draw, and now it's just going to take one damage, and Felix is also tapped out at this point here. So this is nice. Stefan is at 15, and now he gets to untap with fresh cards. We see a copy of Logic Knot. Here we see the second white mana, Hallowed Fountain, entering yes. the battlefield untapped, and this looks like a search of his first counter to me. Ooh, pretty nice. And right. it can already flip the following mm -hmm. turn six cards here in Stefan's graveyard. 
And this is this yeah. is very hard to come back here from Felix. Pretty hard, but Felix is strong as second cranial plating. That's nice, but yes. you still need to get more so, creatures on the board that you don't need right. to invest mana in. But currently he has in hand two cranial plating and two Galvanic bombardment, I think. Uh, Blast. Blast. Bombardment was that weird card from yeah. Shadows, the yes. one mana thing. And now we see the cranial plating getting spelled quite a lot. And Stefan is like, yeah, sure, he's going to trigger his Ascanta. I'm sure he's mm. going to flip it. So even if it's a reasonably good card here, I would just mill it, unless it's a great card, then I wouldn't mill it. Like a Cryptic Command? Exactly. Cryptic Command, you can wait for a turn with your Ascanta. If this is yeah, just sure. a generically good card, I would just go for the value immediately. And especially if you're only playing two copies of it. Definitely, definitely. Cryptic Command is very valuable. It protects you from a lot yes. of different avenues. Yeah. It's your only answer, even if it's just temporary for a cranial plating. If it's mm -hmm. on the battlefield, you can still bounce it. And you can counter one of those platings when it comes down. The second plating, the first one, has already been eaten by the spell quitter here. So in an Abrichtum of Nexus is being played. Still the same cards in hand for Felix. What is he going to play? Is he going just to... Yes, he's going, going to, to attack, attack first. I like attacking Stefan first. Stefan goes down to 11. Stefan is currently on 17 life. And uh, he's also playing a crane plating. And we do see the logic not most likely here. Oh, 5 mana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the logic knot, but Stefan does not want to get rid of any cards in his graveyard because of no, that right. first counter, and he doesn't need to. So just not a spring not, of trap. Yeah. Maybe I would have Galvanic Blasted here. Or what do you say? Um, I like not playing the Blast into open mana, but I would have at least... There hasn't been any open mana. No, that's true, that's true, that's true, but he doesn't have access. Ah, you mean instead of playing the Springleaf Drum? But yeah. You, 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 he tapped his mana. Ah, yeah. Like, true. he could have tapped the Blinkmoth instead of the Mountain for the play, mm. then that play would have been available to him. I think that might have been a slight misstep here. I agree, because you want to get rid of that spell Queller once your opponent has got his shields down. And getting his Cradle Bleeding back is crucial here. So every hit can be lead. Definitely. And now, hitting for one poison is not mm. very exciting. No, because Stefan is also 11 life and yeah, most likely will go down another. Yeah, I mean, he isn't 11 life. But so he's spamming it twice? Sure. And Stefan then will go for Path to Exile, Cryptic Command. He well, might also just activate. Yes, he yeah, like he's activating um, activate Ascanto the Sunken Ruins first, looking at the top four cards, getting that Path to Exile, and now we'll see a Path to Exile on the Ink Moth Nexus nice. most likely. Doesn't look good for Felix here. Nope, this matchup is not in. Currently, the control player is in control. Yeah, the control player is in control, and control player is not just in control, the control player or already has pressure on the board. Gee! Stefan is dominating the board state. And that Ascanta the Sunken Ruins is just huge. <laughs> Search for Ascanta gave a huge boost to those Jessica and Blue White control mm. decks because now they can turn, you can't play a slow game against them because no. once they draw an additional spell each turn, it's not going to work. It's not going to work ever. Hard so you need to pressure him hard, and Felix is not really in the position to do that here with his two lonely 1-1 one, one Blink Moth Nexi. No, sadly not. He should have gotten back the cranial plating when he could. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And now we see end oh. of turn Snapcaster probably just flashing back a bolt, bolt on one of them. No, it's should not end of turn. It's not it's end of turn, we're still in combat. Sure. Yes, we're still in combat. And we see a pump, so he's yes. going to go yeah. down to 9, Stefan is here, and he's untapping, he's drawing another card here. Stefan is currently on 9 life, while Felix is still on 15 life. Yeah, he's but he's got, we got, Stefan's got his 4 turn clock here, yes. and he can just sit on his mana, sit on his Ascanto the Sunken Ruins, Onithopter's not going to bother him no, at but all he's, here. But he can save Felix a turn or two before he gets killed by Spellqual or and Snapcaster. Definitely, but once you're jump blocking with Affinity against the control deck, you're probably losing. Most likely. But you can also need just that one turn to survive sure. the Sure, it's possible, but mm. it's not really likely to no, matter really. in this game state. So what do we see here? Do we see an attack with one creature or with two creatures? We are going to see an attack with one creature. And we do not have to forget that Felix still has... Okay. Sphinx's Revelation for th oh. three here? Gaining it Stefan 3 life, drawing him 3 nope. cards. No there are something. no main deck spell pieces or stubborn denials or other yeah, cards nice. here in Felix's list. Mm -mm. So Stefan says, okay, he got gained 3 life, now he's taking 2, he's got a full grip again. Yes, doesn't look really good. So Stefan is down to 10 life, 
Felix is still on 11 and he's thinking what he's going to do in his turn. He played the Mox Ogle. Or did he now? Or, yeah. Okay. So still two mana available for him, two cards in hand. And he's still not killing that spell queller here. No, still not killing that spell queller. Which is strange. Maybe I would have done it because it will uh, lighten the clock on him. Exactly, mostly that. I mean, the plating is not going to do too much now, but you're still getting beat down by that spell queller for two flying damage. A yes, time. it will do some sort of things because... And now Stefan is playing it safe, he's not attacking with his spell queller here, he wants to just keep it back as a yeah. blocker, because right now he's in control so heavily that he can slow down the pace of the game a bit because he just drew mm -hmm. a million cards and he's also hitting additional land drops again. Yes, and he can also draw more cards. And so now we see... Galvanic Blast at with Metalcraft. Without Metalcraft it does 2 damage with, uh, to target creature or player with Metalcraft, so if you have 3 or more artifacts in play it deals 4 damage to target creature or to target player. Yeah, but now the plating is coming back and we see another a backup spell queller here from Stefan. So yeah, Galvanic Blast is either Shock or Super Bold and so mostly it's so Super Bold which is pretty well good. Can this, but yeah, for sure this spell queller can target Cradle Plating again. Of course, because Cradle Plating is being put in the stack. Uh, yeah, yes, it did. Of course, because okay. once yeah. the spell queller gets killed, the cranial plating is on the stack again. Mm. The second spell queller will target it again, and now it's yes. exiled under the second so spell queller. So, we see another Galvanic Bombardment here. Yeah, another Galvanic Blast here on the yeah. spell queller. Actually, really sad that he is using it right now, because otherwise he would have had four more damage to the face in his hand. Yeah. If he would have played the first one when Stefan was tapped out. This is why Felix was waiting for so long, because Logic he not. thought they could go to the face at some point. And yeah, we see Logic not getting flashbacked here. Devastating um, for Felix. Stefan is counting it up. Four mana available for Felix here, so he has to exile five cards from his graveyard, which yes. he'll happily do. As Kanta has already flipped, he's going to leave, he's going to leave some paths and the ref in here, mm. getting delving away all the other cards in his graveyard. Yes, we do see no. Yes, we do see another Orifopter being played by Stefan. Currently, he only has two O twos with flying and two Plink of Nexus in play. Yeah, basically in game one, the affinity deck has to either have a very, very fast start or draw yeah. some of the cards that are hard to interact with, which Plating can be, but wasn't in this game. Edge nope. Champion is huge here because the only main deck out for the Cheska deck is the Supreme Verdict, but no champion drawn by Felix. He Sadly not. And now we have a swing for six. Mm -hmm. Felix will try to block, we see if he's able to. I would assume that Stefan will do something about this. Yes. So this is currently a two-turn clock on the field. Ah, oh, okay, Stefan just lets him jump here. Doesn't look, good for, uh, doesn't look good for Felix here because he's in jump blocking mode. Nope. Spam and now he's going to pump here. He's going to pump okay, twice. Okay, he's spamming it twice, so he's not actually not jump blocking. So Probably we see, see opt, opt. Yep. opt from invasion, the old one. What does opt do? Opt is a one mana blue instant and it has scry, scry one draw a card. It is very nice here in those Cheska lists because it lets them play a more draw and go game when you don't have to tap out for Serum Visions on your turn. Yes. Which is especially nice with cards like Spell Queller, which you want to hold up mana for. Stefan can just draw infinite cards. Yeah, drew another Opt of the Ascanta <laughs> nice. and now he can play another copy of Opt if he feels like it. Yeah, yeah sure, let's play it. another Opt. Why He's not? It all. I'm sure Stefan is having a lot of fun. I would have a lot of fun in this position. Felix probably is just sitting there and going, eh, let's just watch him. Maybe he shows me some more cards. Not going to win this game, probably. Now we see Ooh. another opt. No. But right now... Is he oh, missing? No, no, no. This, I'm sure he found the board and now he's getting the basic mountain with board this. We will see. Yeah. Okay, he's getting yeah. the basic mountain. But this is a board. Does he have the lightning bolt? We still don't know yet. Why would he get a basic mount if he didn't have the lightning bolt? Yep. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he also verbalized it already because the card was the Nexus was already in Felix's graveyard at the point when the bolt actually. Yeah, was damn, shown didn't look Felix side there. We do see a signal blast which does nothing here currently. And let's those only thought was attack for one, but you're just dead. Yeah, now. but you also have to attack with signal blast. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing anything. No, game's game's, game's, really game's, game's really basically really over here. But Stefan yes. just needs to make sure that he just slows down and wraps the game up without giving his opponent any outs here. It's important to not get hasty in those mm -hmm. games. In modern, there are a lot of things that can happen. And you can, don't want to let your opponent come back from a game where they're like a 2% favorite to win. 
Yes, you're right. So it's just main phasing as Kanto here, trying to dig for more for more cards, finding a spare snare, which is nice shots yes. of any further steel overseas, arc point ravages, all cranial paintings here from mm -hmm. Felix's side. And we'll see how he's going to proceed in his turn. He's probably yes. just going to combat. He's still leaving the spell queller back because he doesn't need to risk it no, getting not really. him getting attacked on the backswing. So will Felix jump block to save some of his life? Only five remaining? I would jump one of the snappies here. I think that's the yes, best. Yes, and we do see that. Here. That's the best line. Mm -hmm. Not that the best line is a very... It's best line so is a bit of a euphemism here because the yeah. line is still not good, but it's nah. the best possible one. Yeah. And Felix scoops it up. Yeah. Game one goes to Stefan. Sure. So we saw Affinity getting trounced very hard here. Yes. So Michi, what can Felix do here in terms of sideboarding to ensure that in game two nothing similar will happen? Wow. Um, I'm not quite sure. He, ha uh, he has in his main deck four Galvanic Blasts. They're not really good against control, but they are kind of good against spell quellers. Against spell quellers. So I'm not quite sure if I would board all of them out. And yeah, one card I would for sure board out is Man Knight. I do not think that Man Knight is really that good in this matchup. And he's only playing two Edge Champion in the main. Luckily, he has two more Edge Champion in the sideboard, which is especially great with Cradle Plating. Uh, and of course, if he has Melcraft. And another good card, uh, another good card in the sideboard is Spell Pierce. To counter, for example, his opponent's removal spells or card draw, etc. And Fotsis to take away his mass removal spell. I think I would try to board in one of these free cards, and there is also one Girobur Ether Grid available. Which is very hard to interact with for Stefan. Yes. It's another angle of attack. It's not the most efficient card, but no. it's very hard to interact with and remove yes, it. Yes, it's hard to interact with. Yeah, maybe I would board out uh, two Mamnite and some Galvanic Blast and board in some of the sideboard cards. I actually... I'm in favor of boarding out all those blasts on the play because spell mm -hmm. gets a lot worse and having yes. him more on the play. On yeah. Stefan's side, he's got a lot of nice cards. He's got an additional mass removal spell in Anger of the Gods here. He's got a Shatterstorm, which is huge. Two mana and two red destroy all artifacts. They can't be regenerated. He's got two ceremonious rejection, which can counter all the important cards in the Affinity deck. He's also got two copies of Weyete which are doubly nice because they not only shatter artifacts, they are also a hedge against Girib Ether Grid. Mm -hmm. If you get to fuse them and play both of both sides at once, it's amazing. And then we also got, as possibilities, he's got two blast alliances and two time reinforcements if he thinks he needs to gain life, but I'm not so sure about that. He's got a lot of top-end cards in his deck that can come out. Gideon of the Trials, Chandra Torch of Defiance, Karanos, God of Storms, do not shine in this matchup here, so those cards can come out easily. Could also trim down to one search for a scanter, and there are other possible trims here. So basically what Stefan wants to do is make sure to just get more specific answers for artifacts instead of clunky cards. Yes, and both players have drawn this seven cards, and we do see a keep from both sides, and Felix goes into affinity mode. Yeah, instead of having two permanents on the battlefield turn one, like last game, he's got four now. Which but is great. We see a Sacred Foundry here. Yes, which is kind of okay. Yeah, which just kind of means you have, so you represent yes. your either boat or path. This is okay. So Felix is currently four mana available with Mox Opal, uh, Springleaf Tram, and the other two lands. So yeah, which is Steel Overseer. And now I think we'll get the Steel Overseer kill at the end of turn. But we see another no. play. Ooh. Yeah. In response to the spell Guide, he put it into one of spell Guide here, Felix yeah. did. And the bolt took out the Steel Overseer in response to the Spell Scout. Steel Overseer, hugely annoying. And now the Spell Scout is still going to have to yes. be dealt with. But we see a turn to set for counter here, nicely filtering Stefan's yes. next draws. So what would be really great would be a Cranial Plating from Felix's side here. but he Plating would do a lot of damage, but he has to hand. settle for just yes. one poison and one um, life. This is true. And the other card in, hand, in Felix's hand is Galvanic Blast. Oh, yeah, I'm not. This, these are the situations where Galvanic Blast just sucks against the control mm -hmm. decks. Any threat you would have now, you would prefer it. I yes. think it's a necessity on the draw because those spell quellers can really annoy, but on the play, often you're able to muster enough pressure that those spell quellers cannot be used effectively. And Stefan just played a tap Celestial Colonnade and passes the turn here. Mm -hmm. 
So big turn for Felix here. What did he draw? Ooh, it's a cradle plating. Nice. One turn late to the party though, because now there's open mana, but there's still the spell guide, so we we'll see what is here. going to happen here. We see a big swing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we seven. Wow, yep. Eight. I know seven he attacked once before. So he's down to eight life, Stefan already, and he's Ooh. keeping the card on top from the search. Mm -hmm. He's fetching immediately. Going down for to seven. Going down to seven, which might be the verdict, and the verdict would be good here. You would still be hit by the ink moth for quite a bit, but I don't no, think. No, the verdict will lead to uh, death here. No, 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 stop. sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, Shatterstorm! This is way better than Verdict. This is going to kill everything Damn. except for the Inkmoth Nexus and the Dark Steel Citadel because it's got indestructible. Wow. And the last card is sadly for Felix not Spell Pierce here. No. So he, he is going, because he's going to lose Metalcraft, so he's going to get um, yes. Stefan down to three here, hoping to somehow mice three more damage, but mm -hmm. his board is reduced to nothing here. Stefan is one of amazing sideboard guard. This is why yeah. playing Affinity can be rough at sometimes because those mm -hmm. Shadowstorms are just huge, like any of those high impact sideboard cards. Yes, and the Blink of Nexus would be a lot better in the city. Yeah, sure. This we thing. see Stefan is on amazing yeah. two poison here. This two, two poison and three love. Yeah, so that Inkmoth would need to deal eight more wow. damage, which is very likely not going mm -hmm. to happen. Stefan has a lot of men on the board still milking that as Kanta. He's going this down to two because the difference between two and three is ne negligible here. Mm -hmm. Because the blast, unless the blast without Metalcraft, but the blast without Metalcraft couldn't be even cast right now because yes. there's no red mana available. And once the red mana became available, very likely Metalcraft would be available too. So end of turn, fetch for a tap land. And now mm -hmm. we see he's keeping the card on top, flipping the search with exactly seven cards in his graveyard. Bam. And seven mana available. Yeah, just play that Field of Ruin off the top of his nice. library. So, what is Felix trying here? Edge Champion? We no, see Mox Opal played. here. Mm. Yeah, no. The thing is, you can activate your Ink Moth, mm. so you can filter the colorless mana into colored mana with the Mox Opal by turning on Metalcraft, but you don't have access to three mana yes. at this point. Sadly not. So, what is he going to do? And, oh, oh, oh Ref for four! Ref is the top end card. But now he can kill him. No. But he doesn't have it. He would have needed to have a Galvanic Blast yeah. here. He could have killed him with Galvanic Blast in response because he could have got Metalcraft by animating the Inkmoth and mm -hmm. then shot four at um, Stefan's face. But now Stefan is safe here. Like what I was saying, Sphinx's Rev is the top end card I want to have. Here we see the Ether Grid. But now having to deal six with the Ether Grid is annoying. No. There, he can't it, cast it. No, it it's he can't cast it. Or, no, he, yes, he can cast it because he does not have. He Metal can't Blast. cast it, yeah. yeah. Felix jumping the gun here, he saw three mana sources, but they're not all active, so now mm -hmm. Stefan even knows about that. He's the grid when he pointed yeah. out, Felix, sorry, you can't do this here because no. you don't have access to three mana. Yes, yeah, so what Gary Brady for grid does, it costs two generic and one red, tap two, untapped artifacts, steal one damage to a creature player. Yeah, it's a very nice card. It's huge against one toughness creatures, but mm -hmm. it's also nice in those control matchups because it's yes. a constant source of pinging and it's can only dealt with via enchantment removal, which is not as common as artifact removal in most decks. This is true. So is he going to play it? Because currently he could play it with Glimmerite, Darkstill, Citadel, and Inkmoth Nexus. Nexus. Yeah. But yeah, do you think it's going, it's going to, to resolve? No, it's a cryptic no. command. Cryptic counter draw? Mm -hmm. And Stefan just needs to find a way to wrap up the game here. He's also getting rid of, rid of that Inkmoth now. So Felix is getting a red source here. He's getting a red source here, which doesn't matter too no. much because he already had access to red violet mm. void and the Mox Opal. So I just want to go back to what you said before when we were talking about the decks. There are a lot of situations where Glimmer Void has to get sacrificed at the end step, so it's a lot more risky. Inspire is just a safer option here. Yes. The one damage happens very rarely, and I think a lot of high a, a lot of proficient affinity players just play four spires now and they say just I'm so happy to never have to play Glimmer Void again because it can just. happens rarely, but it can lead to the biggest blowouts ever. Yes, Hercules Recall, Glimmer Void 2 or 3 Glimmer Void State. Yeah. Play. Thank you. Yeah. This game has ended. 
So what do we see from Stefan's side here? He just needs to find a wing con at some point. He already has the coronate. He needs to, yeah. if he finds something else like snapcasters or spell quellers. Snapcaster, nice. swing relation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? No, sure. Draw some cards. Drawing yes. cards is fun. Drawing cards is good. He also still has that as come to the sunken ruins out there, which is going to milk. He was thinking in his upkeep mm -hmm. probably here, and now he's just playing opt main phase. Yes leaving his one fetch land uncracked here. Mm -hmm. so, so need to go down to five life here at this point. It always has access to this. He already has two of his three basic islands in play, but he can still get both. And now he's... Um, this is carrying up after exile? To hand size. <laughs> so another claim avoid from Felix side? Nothing in play for what him. Do you how do you play. feel when your opponent discards path to exile to hand size? Yeah. And you're playing Infinity. Yeah, not good. <laughs> oh my god. This is yeah. This is a sign that Stefan has got everything yes. he would ever have wanted. End of turn, we see a Snapcaster. What do we see with this? Just oh. Snapcaster opt. He just, okay. You just want to put pressure on the board here. You just keep your mana open. You don't know what Felix has. He might have more mm -hmm. Galvanic Blast in his hand. You just want to not let the sheets down. Put a clock on the board. I really like that patience by Stefan here. Turn by turn. Yeah. Just 28 life. Exactly. It's, it doesn't matter. You will eventually. Yes. Having a quicker clock Ooh. doesn't matter. Here we see the Spire oh. and now Arcbound Ravager, which will get dealt with In by Spell So, Ravager is being Spell Quellered. One yeah, the Spell Queller is in this case. great here. And now, ooh, yeah, nice. Stefan baited him with the Ravager and now he has wow. the champion. The problem is... If Stefan has another spell quailer here, which I very much assume he has, because yes. this looks like he's fetching another spell quailer, then he's going to swing for six a turn. But I like that play by Felix. It's the best he can do, because if mm. he gets the champion to resolve and maybe gets a plating on it and gets the plating to stick, it might do something. But yeah, Stefan had even both without spell quailers. It's a three-turn clock, sure, yeah. Yes. But he got the spell quailer, and Stefan now has six power on board. Mm -hmm. I would attack here mm -hmm. and probably just pass the turn with yes, my amazing hand. Because <laughs> Stefan's hand can't be anything but amazing, as we saw by him discarding yes. the path to exile to hand size a couple turns ago. Yeah, but we still have a four turn clock. Now with the color it, maybe. Yeah. And now we see another another clock. snapcaster. Yes. Which might just target an, the Sphinx's Revelation now, because now... Why not? You already have a lot on the board, less cards in hand. Sphinx's Rev, flashback for four. This is just academic from here. Mm. Basically, we're just waiting till Stefan has finished this game. Exactly, exactly. We're just, we're, just, we're just looking at yeah. Stefan and seeing how you... We can learn something here, how you don't... How you patiently finish games mm -hmm. like this here. Logic not being drawn from Stefan's side here. Great counter. I think we might have another... We see. He might play something. He might also just attack this card to hand size yes. right again. Because why not? You don't mm -hmm. need all those cards. You just want to have so, all the So, 8 open. damage. Felix is in 14 life. Yeah, and discarding Supreme Verdict. Path to exile to hand size. Yeah. Does he have to discard even more? Yes. So what is... No, that oh, was... Yeah, no, he's at 7 cards it. now. Now we have a plating here. But no creature in play. Oh. Master yeah, of Ethereum. Master of Ethereum here, which we'll get dealt with with another spell quest. Okay, this is lethal damage on the board with uh, Colonnade. Yeah. Yes. And there's no cards here, so Stefan might be... as well just go for it. Yeah, of course. Unless he's missing Definitely. his Colonnade, no. which, yeah, he's missing the Colonnade, it doesn't really matter. He might also have some. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay. boy, yes, three lightning three, bolts. Three bolts with another step. Nice. Caster. Big win for Stefan here. Yeah, he completely. This was looking really good for Felix, yeah. and then he got Shadowstone. This is the story of the game. Oh, boy. And Felix didn't draw perfectly in this game. Felix Could, drew, drew pretty well at the he start. He drew pretty well, but ah, the Shadowstorm was insane. But you insane. can't really you can't really play around no. it. Like, let's we'll no. see if we can we can see something about the sideboarding here. But Felix is just um, ah, Stefan is Stefan is telling Felix to maybe show some of those cards to camera. Yeah, hopefully Stefan is showing cards. Or let's see what they sideboarded. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, sadly the video is out and we can't tell you anymore. Okay, people, this was Big First Tonight Modern at Magic Corner Vienna. If you want to say anything about this match or have other views than we have, comment below and see you in the next video. We'll be back with more content from Magic Corner Vienna soon. Thanks for watching.